What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today we're going to give you a video on how to stream with OBS or Open Broadcast Software, and this works for Xbox One, PS4, PS3, every console and PC, everything else like that. So uh, this is actually a really cool thing to do, you guys can stream your gameplay, you guys can stream your uh, speed arts, tutorials, you guys can stream port reviews, anything you guys want to do. So before I start this video, honestly, a big thanks to uh, Guamzi for helping me out with my thumbnails. As you guys know, my computer broke, and I'm only doing really basic tutorials from now on. And basically, this is what he has to do is all my thumbnails for me, since the only thing I can really do is record basic stuff and upload it. So let's get right into the tutorial. So uh, I went out of my way already and downloaded Elgato to show you guys pretty much exactly what you need to do. And you need to download open broadcast software. So uh, if you guys are doing this for console, you guys will need to download these two. If you guys are doing it for PC, you're only going to need to download OBS. So everything will be in the description that you need. So once you download that, all you want to do is open it, and you guys are going to come to this screen. And if you guys can see my mouse fluttering, that's because my uh, computer is getting used up too much memory because it's really old. And this computer is from like 07. I'm still using as an i7 though. It's still running 107. But um, basically what you do when you open the screen, that's going to pop up a couple times. But what you want to do when you briskly open the screen is right click and hit add scene and label this, let's just say streaming. So after you hit streaming, what you want to do is just right click in here and hit add. And this is when you want to add your video capture device. If you guys are watching for PC, um, pay attention to a little after this. This is for gaming. This is for consoles only. So we want to type in video capture device and just type in Elgato slash HDPVR, whatever you guys are using. And then right here, if you hit device, it will pop up saying Elgato Game Capture. So you pretty much just going to click that. And you guys are going to pretty much leave everything the same. If you guys can put your custom resolution, you guys can change your frames per second. But basically, Twitch will put it down at 30 FPS, based, uh, basing it on your internet and computer and everything else like that. For your audio input device, you guys can just leave it as default. And then for this, your gamma, just leave everything normal. So that's pretty much the basic thing. So just hit OK, and that'll be pretty much Elgato. So the next thing you guys want to do for PC, if you guys want to have PC, you want to right click, go add and add a monitor capture. And this is so you guys can add your monitor so you can put computer screen. And this can even work for your Elgato thing. So I definitely do the setting it up. And then you want to choose your monitor, one, two, three, or whatever, how many monitors you have. And just hit one. And then you pretty much go with this, just hit OK. And it'll say warning, arrow is enabled. This is for Windows 7 only in Vista. So pretty much just hit OK. And this will pop up. So you guys pretty much have two screens now. So basically the third thing you want to do now is start adding all your essential stuff. So what I want to do is actually preview the stream. Actually I'm not. Yeah. I'm going to preview the stream and you guys are going to get a lot of um, repetitive things. It's just going to take a little bit to load. Alright. It did load. So basically when you have this, you guys can tell right here how many FPS and how much stuff's using. You want to just start adding your other stuff. So this is going to be a lot of repetitive things for you. I'm actually, I'll just minimize this a little bit just so it's a less eye of attack for you guys. So what you want to do with this is right click on this and hit add and add image. So this is going to be basically your uh, overlay. So I'm going to type in overlay and hit enter and go to browse. And you just want to pretty much enter in your bare overlay or just whatever you want to pretty much put in. So just pretty much do that, hit OK, and then it's going to paste right in. And to pretty much make it the same size, hit Edit Scene. And then just pretty much click the top left arrow and shrink a little bit. And then just put it in the center best as you can. And then you guys can hit uh, Control C, I believe. That puts it right in the center. And then click, hold Shift, and then push up a little bit. And you guys can pretty much mess with this. That's pretty much the center for me. So that's pretty much the screen. So well, the next thing you want to do, if you want to add more stuff, you pretty much want to go to add, add image, and then browse. It's, you can label this like webcam overlay. And then hit enter and hit browse, and then pretty much enter in your webcam overlay. But since I don't really have my webcam on, I'm not really going to do that for you guys. So it's pretty much setting up your basic stuff right here. It's just your overlay and your screen. So uh, if you guys, let's just say, want to use your Elgato instead of your computer screen, all you want to do is de-click right here. This computer screen your Elgato will pop up. But I'm not going to do that since my Elgato is only plugged in right now. It's not hooked up to my Xbox One. So I'm going to hit stop preview for now. And then I'll open this wide back up to your big screen. And then let's go right into the settings. So settings is going to be the most important thing, basically, to show you guys your internet and everything like that. So you're going to go to general and leave that pretty much the same and then go to encoding. So for encoding, what you want to do is leave everything the same except for your max bit rate. And you want to put that to whatever your internet is. So to t test your internet, my internet's about to be really bad, go to speedtest.net and just click, oh, my phone keeps going off, and just click begin test. So basically this is going to do a uh, what do you want to call it? An internet scan for your thing, and it'll pretty much tell you your uh, download and upload speed. And mine's gonna be really bad right now, just because I'm on my laptop. My laptop is a really bad uh, wireless, and 
like a wireless LAN thing. See, yeah. If I have this wired, it usually is like a six, not a six, excuse me, like a 15 or something, 15 to 20. So basically you want to wait until this is done and mine's 5.99 and what you want to do is pretty much take this and cut it straight in half so i'll just round it to your nearest number and then cut it straight in half so it's gonna be 3000 so go back to obs and put your max bit rate to 3000 and this is so you have 3000 or three megabytes of your internet going towards the stream and then the rest of your megabytes going towards the uh the game itself and also the uh computer so next thing you want to do is just hit apply and then you want to leave everything the same. It should be on bitrate uh, 128 in format 48 uh, kilohertz and then go to broadcast settings. So this is actually really important the broadcast settings. You want to put the mode to live stream and then put this to Twitch. So it's going to put Twitch here and then everything else is going to pop up. It's going to change. Then go to your FMS URL and scroll down to where you are on the, the country in the world. And then for me, um, the, the closest thing to me is New York, New York. So now this is the important part, your stream key, if any. So basically, I'm not going to show you guys my stream key because this is what you do not want to show anybody because this is what how you stream from other programs into Twitch. So to find your stream key, what you want to basically do is I'll open up a little thing on Google, how to get stream key, Twitch. And the only reason why I'm not going to show you guys now is because I don't want to pretty much show you guys my stream key so uh, what you want to do is go to your stream service and click optimize in the bottom left in the menu return to your twitch dashboard and select stream key and follow the prompts to receive your special streaming code so basically that's what you want to all you want to do and then you just have to paste it into here it's gonna be a really long code and you guys are after that after that you're pretty much set so the next thing you want to do is pretty much leave everything the same and then right here this is the important part is automatically save stream to file and then the rest so you want to do is click automatically save stream to file and this is only if you guys want to save your streams into a video or a file. So what you want to do is hit browse and just pick like a desktop folder or something or a folder overall and just put that and then just hit apply and then start going to the video. So video, this is another really important part. This is where you want to choose your video adapter and this is pretty much your graphics card and obviously the graphics card's not the best on this laptop. So what you want to do is choose your graphics card. If you have two, this is why they choose one. You want to have one to run your computer, one to run the the stream itself and then for your custom usually 1920 by 1080 works but uh my computer is only 1600 by 900 so that's gonna have to work um resolution downscale put the 1920 by or excuse me 1280 by 720 uh billionaire and then the fastest and then 30 fps and just hit apply and then you go to your audio so audio is another really key important thing to this this is going to be recording your voice and all you want to do is go to here and then your microphone auxiliary device and just click your blue snowball microphone and basically this is going to work. I'm going to make sure mine's still working. All right, there you go. And force, you're going to force microphone auxiliary to mono and then show only connected devices and hit reinitialize and then you're going to hit apply and then go to hotkeys. And this is when you guys can set your hotkeys to other things like that. And then you guys can put your advanced stuff. Um, I'm going to leave all these the same and the rest are pretty much just for you to mess with. There's just your threshold and stuff. And then your scene switcher. Um, for your scene switchers, as I said before, you guys can literally just minimize one and keep the other one open. So after you guys are pretty much done, this is another important part. After you guys are completely done, what you want to do is minimize everything and right click right here and go to task manager. So with your task manager, what you want to do is right click on your, oh, excuse me, how do I do this? Yeah, you're going to right click, sorry, I'm a little tired with this you're gonna right click on your uh, performance right here in your window task manager and what you want to do is pretty much just start your stream and then you guys are gonna watch your CPU usage and make sure it does not break over 80 if it breaks over 80 stop streaming and you're gonna have to find another way to do this because mine was running my computer into the ground like I didn't really realize that and then right here is the high encoding CPU usage and that's because my CPU is going out of control with this and that's just because my computer couldn't handle it and stuff like that. So uh, definitely check this out when you guys are doing this. And there's other ways you guys can set your OBS to uh, to t uh, I forget how to do it. It's like you guys can manage your OBS to uh, run faster and be at the first one to get the highest intake of stuff. It, it's it's really it's really complicated. But um, doesn't really matter. But um, basically, after that's done, your players are pretty much set to stream. There's other key and things you want to do. If you want to record, let's just say your game and you're talking, is put your uh game volume down to like 40%, and then you guys are pretty much set for that. 
so this is pretty much it this is pretty much the end of the tutorial um there's not really much to do else except for show you guys how to add twitch alerts but i'll do that in another tutorial so if you guys want to see that tutorial on twitch alerts let me know in the comments below also that the obs will be in the description as well as elgato and everything like that so this is actually really fun to do and if you guys want you guys can actually make different scenes of your computer screen and elgato if you guys want to do separate things and separate uh overlays and alerts but other than that, that's about it. So definitely go check out Guamzi in the description below. And the, also the annotation on the screen for helping me out with those thumbnails. And thank you guys for being awesome subscribers and still staying with me as my computer is broken. I'm only doing these basic tutorials. So I'll pretty much be seeing you guys in my next video whenever that is. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Peace out.